Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I... I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. We got what looks like a 1091E here, PDK exit 285. All cars have to keep on the lookout for 91E in the area. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses, and he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs>
Oh, shit. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Why the hell did he have his gun out? I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Officer? Man. This 
place smells like shit. What the hell is this? Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Hello? Anybody? I wonder if anybody's home. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. That beep in Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone.
Message 1, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. I'm sorry. I'm here. I'm not a monster. Good. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. 
It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me, and we'll move as fast as we can. I found the bastard! Are we going to die? No, I'm sure we're fine. Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. I'll come quietly. There's a little girl here. You're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Wait, why'd you say you'd come quietly? I thought I was being arrested. Oh man, no shit. I'm sorry about that. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh shit! It's Chet! Let's go! Get to my car! Go! Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. 
Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? I didn't. Well, now's the time. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. It smells like... I know what it smells like. Duty. My mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hey, get up. <sighs> oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit.
Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hey, back in a bit. Okay, Lee. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Seems like those two are getting along. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bys to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. 
you don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. I'm gonna go, uh, check on the others. Whatever you want, man. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh, had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife, girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Oh! <laughs> 
about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten! He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No! I'm cleaning him up! There's no bite! He's fine! Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen! We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten! Shut up! We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in! Kenny! Stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! 
What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. Jesus! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Central High Tech State. Paper's a week old. Feels like years. 
You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. <sighs> Nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know. Hey Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and... Things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee... You got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? We let that boy die. I know, man. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Man, 
Look at me. I don't know if I can carry this. What else is there to do? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA, 